Welcome to the Shulamite Podcast, an extension of Shulamite Ministries and Shulamite.com, with weekly interviews and teaching with author and speaker Martha Kilpatrick and hosted by John Enslow. This weekly podcast is a way to stay connected to the ministry. So come experience anointed messages, not giving just another method, but a living impartation. Well, I was also thinking, John, when you were talking, it's so funny that you said exactly what I wanted to say about forgiveness. Because that's how I feel about everything that Martha sent for me to read. Is that I thought I had a pretty good handle on forgiveness. I'm not saying I thought I was an expert. But if somebody had said, you know, what's forgiveness and all that good stuff. I would have felt pretty comfortable that I could have answered that. And pointed to experiences in my life. And and that's legitimate. That's true. But considering the depth and frequency that forgiveness is addressed. In the scriptures, you would think there would be reams and reams of stuff written about it and revelation shared. And I have been really, really surprised at how little there is out there that's actually specifically on the issue of forgiveness, being forgiven, living forgiven, forgiving what it means to forgive. You know, um, I've read the scripture 70 times 7, I'm going to use the shorthand because I know everybody knows what I'm talking about. Many, many times. But he's still bringing new revelation of that scripture and opening up new avenues where it's applicable in my life that I didn't see before. You know, nothing in the scriptures is one-dimensional. Nothing is one and done. And that's the beauty of it and, and the adventure of it. But this book... And, and what he's giving you, Martha, is just, I mean, it's life. It's going to be life from, from page one to, to the end. There's just no question. And, um, and it's, it's so far reaching, I think, forgiveness and the lack thereof. I don't tell this in, in the book, just wasn't led to tell it, but, uh, I guess I was in my mid-thirties, and a friend of mine confronted me about, you you haven't forgiven this situation. And I said, I have said it. She said, I don't care if you've said it, you you haven't forgiven. And I began to uncover, the Lord began to show me, because I asked him to, show me my bitterness. And he did, and it was a deep well, a deep black well. And I said to him that back then, what, 40 years ago, I want you to make me an expert on forgiveness because I had been an expert on bitterness. And so I began to take hold of every scripture that's about forgiveness. And all these years, and and even lately, I've had to go back and forgive something and go through the, the, the way you do it. And uh, so I, it's so encouraging to me what you're saying, because it means he answered my prayer. And it you started to say, it's so crucial Jennifer, it's life and death. It's your spiritual life and death. And the one of the things that I, I, I think I address it a little bit, but I'm shocked at how cavalier many Christians are, and even sincere Christians are about forgiveness. They just, it's like you don't have to deal with that. You don't. I don't want to deal with that, so I won't. But to me, to see it in the Word like it is presented, it's critical. It's a life and death matter li- literally and figuratively spiritually and and physically because m- they say that most of our disease is 90 percent of our disease is uh simply the poison released in the body from bitterness that there's literally you poison yourself with bitterness so it's it's for me it's extremely life and death and uh, I was just going to say, Martha, when Jen was talking, and you pretty much just said it, it has made me extremely aware of the crisis of of forgiving. The life, it is, I feel like it is the life crisis for all of us. And there are offenses coming out of every, every direction in life. But those offenses, if they're not dealt with, it is a, it is it's what you just said. It's it's a life and death crisis, and um, 
I think that's the subtlety of Satan, too, is to somehow lessen the pang of it, um, lessen the value and the sacredness of it. But it, it, through your book, it is just making me see everything differently um, and that it is, truly is a crisis in my life to have him or not have him. And here's another thing. People may, may think that they know how to forgive because it's become such a common thing that they believe that they, they are forgiving and they're not. They believe that, you know, that that wave of the hand that, um, oh, well, I'm just going to forget it or, oh, it's okay, it's okay, no problem, that that's forgiveness. Literally, I'm telling you, it, it exploded exploded it in my head what the purpose of forgiveness is and what the the outcome of forgiveness is and what the um i mean my understanding of forgiveness has totally changed that one thing that you came down and read to me i was like wow the purpose of it is so much bigger than i ever thought it's not just so that you know It'll go well with my life. No, it's not so that uh, men will be at peace with me. No, it's not so that um, I don't have physical ailments because of the bitterness in my body. No, uh, it's all of that, but it's so much more. And it literally exploded my view of it, what you said. And that's just one chapter. That was just one of the chapters that you came down. And I, you lit my head. Poof. I was on fire. I was like, wow. That's the whole point of forgiveness? You're kidding me. Yeah, I'll never forget it. How you reacted because you, you went straight up like into another realm. And you saw a vista that you'd never seen before, it, it blew you away, but it also took you to a great deal of joy and bliss. Then oh, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. It wasn't that, it, that you were condemned at all. It was no, that no, you were no. set free. No, 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 no. You gave me a hope and a joy and a uh, an excitement about it. It's like whatever it is that I need to forgive, I, I it was just... That nothing is worth it to miss what's on the other side. That's what he's giving me, the other side. The, the fruit of forgiveness and the, the result and the, yeah, that's what he's giving. And you, you can, you just, it's amazing. You connected it with something that's just so a part of my heart. And you just you you just made all the connections between uh, that that the forgiving and the forgiveness and being forgiven. You made all the connections, and it brought. It's I'm passionate about it. You gave me passion for something that that you know can be passed off as oh yeah yeah kind of. Who doesn't know about forgiveness? Who doesn't know about forgiveness? Everybody knows about forgiveness. You just forgive. Just shut up and forgive. Tell me that's not what they do, right? Oh, I've already dealt with that. Exactly, Carol. Exactly. Yeah, I cried. I cried. I dealt with that a long, long time ago. But you know what? As, as we've had the privilege to read this and as you're talking john because it just gets me all ignited again too the anointing is so powerful the anointing for the impartation of that revelation and that life is i don't i, I can't even think of a, a really good word to describe it it's just it takes you away. It takes you up. It grabs you and takes takes you into uh, the heavenly realm, doesn't it? It did. It absolutely did. Lori Thomas wrote this wonderful thing, and she 
didn't know, I'll probably tell, I should probably tell this on the uh, video. Okay, I'll save it. When you and Jen and, and Lori and whoever else I sent a file to, all of you ladies wept. And you were just kind of blown away and wept. <laughs> That's a very genteel way of describing what actually happened. It's actually a lot more messy than that. Um, okay, but here's something I, I also want to say. Because I think most of the people that listen to the podcast are probably also subscribed to the devotions. So, um, I would think that they would, you know, be aware of the mystery of discipleship. And since it's, we just finished up that series only a couple weeks ago. But what I love about having this in print form, and we're still going to have it available for free on Read MK for people. Um, but we have had, you know, we had a lot of requests for people who really wanted it to be in a print copy that they could literally hold in their hands and have and and be able to navigate through it very quickly and not have to click page to page sort of thing. But something about both Altogether Forgiven, Book on Forgiveness, and The Mystery of Discipleship, which is a devotional, um, they're both so foundational. Th they are... They're both um, kind of these cornerstone issues, uh, and yet they're both incredibly high at the same time. Somehow in that, it's, it's one of these things where if somebody said, well, would you give it to a mature Christian or to a new believer? I would say yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, because it's, they, they work on, on so many different levels and, you know, this isn't my first go round with the devotionals and I have now spent weeks reading and rereading and, and pouring over them as I'm formatting and editing and all the rest of that. And so I've been immersed <laughs> and that's not even counting, you know, all the times previously when I've, you know, been working on them to put them online and when I, you know, went through them in depth uh, to to assemble them as their own series, you know, when I um, from the original Man in the Morning that that Martha sent out back in 2003, 2004. Um, good gravy. It's like 15 years ago. Um, but in spite of that, I would still find myself, even if it was the sixth time I had read it that day going through it, I would find myself stopping and actually reading it. I would find it almost impossible just to skim through it the way I needed to in a very detached manner to simply look for mistakes that I'd made or, you know, errors and things like that. Because the anointing on it is, is so strong. It's just so strong. And I think that that might be, you know, because these are two things where Jesus' heart really is. You know, the cross is so central um, in Christianity, and it's so central in forgiveness. And, and most of what you're writing now, Martha, is, is so high in that respect in that it's really beyond um, not just what I thought I knew, but what I imagined I could know about it, if that makes any sense. You know, which the Lord always does. <laughs> he loves blowing me out of my own pool. <laughs> so, and thank you for doing it, Lord. But but that's, you know, for both, the, and for discipleship, I mean, that was... That was his final, you know, that was his fi the final responsibility he dished out to the men he spent more time with than any other human beings while he was here on this earth walking um, was that they go and make disciples. And, um, and you know, I, I, 
I go through the series and I've gone through it so many times now. And yet I feel like in a very real way, I've still only scratched the surface in terms of what the spirit is able to reveal to me at this time, you know, in that. And, and I'm not surprised at the warfare, but I also, I'm so excited for people to have this in their hands and, um, and to have that experience with him reading it, you know, I just, I just think it's life, capital L. We hope you've enjoyed the Shulamite podcast. For all the latest from Shulamite Ministries, please visit us at Shulamite.com, where you'll find Martha's daily devotions, posts from GetAlongWithGod.com, and the online library of all of Martha's writings. At Shulamite.com, downloading the free Shulamite app is easy, and LivingChristianBooks.com is only a click away. Thank you for joining us on this journey to discover a God worth knowing.